Hey guys and welcome to Arctech. In this video, we will talk about file pointers. Now, when we open a file, when we open a file in C++, we have something called as file pointers. We have two types of pointers. The first one is get pointer and second one is a put pointer. So when we open a file in input mode, we have a get pointer. And when we open a file in output mode, we have a put pointer. So get is for input and put is for output. So in this video, we will talk about the get pointers and the put pointer and then we will see their functions. Also, we have four functions. The first one is sigg, then we have sigp, we have tellp and tellg. Now these two functions that is sigg and tellg is for the get pointer that is for the input mode and we have sigp and tellp for the output mode that is the put pointer. Now a file pointer is not a normal C++ pointer. We know that a normal C++ pointer is a pointer that will store the address of some variable. But a file pointer has a different function. A file pointer will tell us the current location in the file where the reading or writing is taking place. So to get the exact idea where we are writing or where we are reading in the file, we can use the file pointer. So file pointer is like a text cursor in a text file. We know that in a text file we have a cursor that is the blinking cursor and the cursor tells us about the current location where we are writing. In the same way a file pointer has the same functionality. Hence a file pointer will tell us the exact position of the cursor in the file. Now for example suppose we have a file like this our file name is student.txt and here is the data inside the file. Now initially when the file is opened the pointer is at this location that is the zeroth location. Now when the file is open in input mode we have a get pointer and when the file is open in output mode we have put pointer. Therefore suppose the file is open in input mode so we have the get pointer here. Now suppose we want to read a data from this much location. We want to read the data from D onwards. What we will do is we will use some functions and we can change the location of this get pointer to here and then we can easily read the data after this D. We can change the location of the pointers. So in this way we can use the file pointers to read or write the data. We have four functions to work with these pointers. The first one is sigg, second one is sigp, the third one is tellp and fourth one is tellg. Now these are the functions used for file pointers. So these are used for manipulating the file pointers. Now sigg and tellg, the g here stands for get that is for the input mode and these are for input streams that is for the get pointers. In the same way we have p inside this sigp and tellp and these two are for the output streams that is for the put pointer. Now sigp and tellp has the same functionality as sigg and tellg. The only difference is that these two are used for get pointer and these two are used for the put pointer and they have the same functionality. Let us talk about the sigg function. Now sigg function is a function used to move the get pointer to a desired location with respect to a reference point. So we can use this function that is sigg to change the location of the get pointer in a file with respect to a reference point. So here we have a reference point. Syntax is here. Write the stream object first. Now stream object is the object that is used for opening the file. Then give a dot and then write the sigg keyword. Then inside these two brackets we have two things. The first one is number of bytes. Now number of bytes are the number of locations that we want the pointer to move. Second one is reference point and we have three types of reference point. The first reference point is iOS BAG and this will move the pointer with respect to the beginning of the file. Second one is iOS CUR. This will move the pointer with respect to the current location of the pointer. The third one is iOS END and this will move the pointer with respect to the end of the file. For example, suppose we have file like this. This is our file and we have data inside the file. This is our data. Now initially when the file is opened, the get pointer or the put pointer is at beginning. That is a zeroth location. Now suppose we want to move the get pointer four locations after the beginning. We will write the file object that is f in in this case, then give a dot, then write sigg, then inside the bracket write the number of bytes that we want the file pointer to move. Here we want to move four bytes, so we have four here, then give a comma and then write the reference point. Now here the reference point is beginning, so write ios, then operator and this beg keyword. So in this way after execution of this line 
the file pointer will move four locations after this beginning so we have one two three and four so after this the file pointer will be here now suppose we want to move three locations backward from the current location the current location is here and to move backwards we have to use negative sign so here you can see everything is same but we have negative sign here and we have current reference point here so after execution of this line the file pointer will move three locations backward from this current location so we have the file pointer at this location after execution of this line so to move backwards we have to use negative sign and to move forward we have to use the positive sign after this to move five locations before the end point we will use uh, minus 5 and then we will use ios end so after execution of this line the file pointer will move five locations before this end point so we have end point here and the five locations before this is so the file pointer will be here after execution of this line so in this way we have three reference points the first one is beginning second one is current and third one is end and to move forward we have to use positive number and to move backward we have to use negative numbers let us talk about tlg function now tlg function is a very simple function and this function tells us about the current location of the get pointer here we have g and g is for get pointer so to get the current location of get pointer we will use tlg function syntax is here write the stream object first that is the object used for opening the file then give a dot and then write the tlg keyword and then, and then these two brackets there is no need for the reference point in this and here is the example so, so after execution of this line the tlg function will return the current location of get pointer and this location that is the address is stored inside this int pos so now pos has the location of the get pointer also sigp and tlp has the same functionality as sigg and tlg so we have to use the same concepts for sigp and tlp